if you could go back to your younger self, say 18 or 19 or 20 years old, and give that person a stellar piece of advice, what would you say? Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Michael here. The other day I was on Facebook and I was looking at a post from a group called Leave Normal Behind. And the question that they had asked everybody from the group was, if you could go back to your 18-year-old self and give that person a piece of advice, what would you say? And I don't fully recall the answer that I gave, but I've been thinking about this since I saw that question. And I've seen this question before in the past from different people. But I never really gave it too much thought, and I have been thinking about it recently, and I've been thinking about, about it mostly because of Instagram. On Instagram, I was checking out a, I guess it would be like a Winnipeg feed, and, you know, it showed a lot of young people out there, 18-year-olds, 19-year-olds out there at the bars and whatnot, and having a blast, and dancing, and drinking, and, you know, just doing all that great stuff that we all did when we were younger, most of us did when we were younger. And I thought to myself, when I was doing that, yeah, I was having fun. I was in a band way back in the day and, and we played in a lot of bars and it was a lot of fun. Did a lot of drinking, a lot of hanging out with friends, a lot of time wasting. And that's something that I would go back and tell myself. I would tell myself to quit wasting time. I never took anything seriously, as so many people don't. I would tell myself to stop it right there. Quit wasting time. You've got a whole life in front of you that you need to build your empire with. And when I say empire, I don't mean like building some billion dollar empire. I mean, well, that would be great. But I'm just talking about the financial freedom that people are so in a rush for, which is, you know, something that just it baffles my mind too. But I wouldn't waste all my time partying and I would be more about building my empire because one day I'm going to die. Now, I mean, life isn't that bad where I've got nothing. I, I live well. I've got lots of food. I've got a beautiful house. I've got a great wife. I've got two great boys. I've got three wonderful dogs. I have transportation. You know, I'm not without anything. And I'm grateful for everything that I have. But if I was to die right now, I'd die broke. And it bothers me that I did not know in my 20s that I should be thinking about this kind of thing. And really... We all should have been, everybody should be, and the, the most successful people out there are always thinking about that. One day, you're going to die. And what's going to happen when you die? You're either going to have something to leave behind or you're not. And I don't want to be one of them knots. So I'm working at it now. I'm working at my own thing now, my own website and blog consulting company. I'm working at that, and I'm working hard at that. And I see a good future in that. But if I was pursuing a passion when I was younger, I, I think to myself, like, what, what, how much benefit would there have been if I pursued a passion when I was so much younger, when I was 18, 19, 20 years old? Where would I be right now with that passion or different passions as they come, came along? I don't think I'd be dying broke if I was dying right now. So that's what I would tell myself. Quit the partying. Quit the drinking. Start planning, live like you're going to die. That's what I would tell myself. So I'm curious, what would you go back and tell yourself? And I don't care if you're 19, 20, 30, 40, 60, 70. What would you go back to your younger self and, and tell yourself that would impact your future? Leave a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. I'm Michael Ambassas from michaelambassas.com, your website and blog consultant. You ever have any questions when it comes to a website or, or blog, please let me know. I will be sure to answer you as soon as I can. You have yourself a great day and be great because nobody can be great for you. And I am out.